Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm back with another 5 affinity photo tips that will be useful for you when doing your editing, especially for beginners. But before that, you can also check out these two videos that I uploaded last year about affinity photo tips as well. And I'm going to use this design that I made especially for this video as an example. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get to tip number one. So the first tip is how to copy and paste layer style. Okay, if you used Adobe Photoshop before, you can just right click on the layer and then you can copy and paste layer style over there. But it's different in Affinity Photo. As you can see, when I right click on the layer, there's no copy and paste layer style option in here. And when I click, Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste, it will just duplicate the layer. So how do we copy and paste layer style in Affinity Photo? Let me show you. Let me make a new text first. Okay, so go to the, make sure the layer that the layer style you want to copy is selected. And then press Ctrl C to copy, or you can right click on it and click copy. Then click on the layer that you want to pass the layer style on and press Ctrl Shift V to pass the layer style. Or you can just go to edit and pass style. And as you can see, it will just pass the layer style of the layer. Okay, so that was how to copy and paste layer style in Affinity Photo. Okay, let's move on. The second tip is Live Filter. I believe most of you already know about how to apply Live Filter in Affinity Photo. So you can skip to the next tip. But if you don't know, let me show you real quick how to apply Live Filter and why we need to apply Live Filter instead of Filter. So just go to Layer new live filter layer and let's apply go simpler and then change the value I will set it to 10 and when I close this tab as you can see I can still open the go simpler tab and I can change the value as I want even though I close the tab I can always open it anytime that I want. Okay, but if you use filter only, when you set the value and click apply, you cannot change the value again no matter what. Okay, so I really recommend you to use live filter instead of filter. Okay, and then next. The next step is fill opacity. Again, if you used Adobe Photoshop before, you will see fill option below opacity in layer panel. So what is the difference between opacity and fill opacity? I won't explain it in this video because it's too long, but you can watch this video instead about the difference between opacity and fill opacity. And some of you may already know about the difference, but don't know where it's located in Affinity Photo. So let me show you. Okay, just go to Layer Effects and you will see Fill Opacity below here. So in short, Fill Opacity only affects the actual content of the layer. Okay, for this layer, it's text and it won't affect the layer effects. Okay, let me show you real quick. So when I reduce the fill opacity to zero, as you can see, nothing happened because I apply color overlay here. But when I disable the color overlay and I set the fill opacity to zero percent, as you can see, the text will become transparent 
but the outline and inner shadow still there so it won't affect the layer effects and next how to fill layer with the color of your choice so when you want to create a new layer and fill it with color that you want just press G and max your gradient tool is selected instead of float fill tool so max your gradient tool is selected and then just drag the slider and choose the color that you want to use and the layer will be filled with the color that you want and lastly last tip how to boost your affinity photo performance you can do it by enabling hardware acceleration so hardware acceleration uses computers gpu devices instead of cpu you can enable it by going to edit preferences and then performance and make sure this hardware acceleration is enabled okay i have already enabled it and this is the gpu of my laptop okay after that just click close and the program will restart first before you can use it and if you want to disable it just click on here again to disable it okay but it requires windows 10 version may 2020 or later version if you use windows 10 below may 2020 version you cannot use this hardware acceleration feature so make sure you update your windows 10 first before if you want to use this feature okay so that's it for this video that was five affinity photo tips from me i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil